part of our implementing the decision of the AU, uh, to, which declared that 2010 was the year of peace, the year we wanted to see peace happening. South Africa, on the Africa Day, May <clears throat> this year, as a president of the Republic of South Africa, I lit a flame of peace to ensure that the program is indeed popularized in the country. We are involved in a number of programs. We are, for an example, going to make use of the 21st of September as a World Day <clears throat> to further launch, to celebrate that day in a particular way, taking into consideration the decisions of the AU. The 24th of September, which is our Heritage Day, very important, will further go on to popularize the peace year of this continent. We believe there is a lot that needs to be done to remind people that this continent is supposed to be the continent of peace. We must work for it. That in areas where there is still some conflict, we need to do everything to ensure we bring peace and stability to our people. We'll continue to participate as we have been on the efforts of mediations as well as peacekeeping, but also reconstruction after peace is there so that those who had been devastated by peace would see the benefits of peace when what has been taken out from them is restored in terms of changing the conditions. We are even thinking that in areas where there is violence, where there is conflict, instead of waiting for peace to come in order to keep it, if necessary, we believe that Africa must think of taking a very serious decision to enforce peace where there is no peace. That's one thing we are, where we think needs to be debated. But otherwise, we believe all Africans should respect the decision that was taken by its leadership to ensure that peace reign in the continent of Africa. And I'm sure the impact of this decision is going to be felt for a long, long time to come. They must call African Union leaders. They must keep on calling and provoking their conscience that as long as they remain in the refugee camps, as long as they are victims, the leaders of this continent cannot for one moment think that there is peace when there is one corner of this continent that is not in peace. I think they must not keep quiet. They must shout, they must call us, they must call our attention so that we pay attention to them. It is important to do so. They must not perish in silence.